What's good y'all, Riley Beats here, and today, today we're just gonna go over five nice, easy mixing tips that'll help you get your mixes sounding better and kind of getting you to where you want your mixes to be. So with that being said, if you could leave a like, comment, and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate that. You would greatly appreciate that. The community would greatly appreciate that. And it could stop the earth from being hit by deadly meteors. I don't know if that's true, but there's only one way to find out. Let's get right into it. So I have this beat here I made. Um, I kind of just made like a melody. I'll play the melody for you real quick. The melody is kind of mixed-ish. But the melody is only mixed in relation to the melody. By the way, all the sounds that I used in the melody are for my new Elysium one-shot kit. I don't know if I can still say new because it's been out for a little bit now. But it's from my Elysium one-shot kit that I did with Faded Wave. The link to that will be in the description so you can cop it there. Um, so yeah, first things first. And this is a great place to start when mixing. You're making a beat at the end of the day. You're making a beat. This doesn't really apply to mixing a full song because this is for mixing a beat. And there's a big difference there. If you're mixing a full song, you have a lot of different things to worry about. You're mixing a beat, you're making the beat, giving it a beat mix, and then passing it off. An artist will get it, and from there it'll typically go to a mix engineer, or the artist will mix it themselves, depending. This is where uh, our master is going to come in handy. You don't need to master your beats crazy because you're not putting out a song. You're putting out a beat for someone to think, damn, this is a fire beat. Let me hop on it. So in your master, you might want nothing too crazy. Just a little bit of a soft clipper. Just pull up a default soft clipper and that's all good and dandy. Me personally, I have my master preset, which I got from Tours. Shout out Tours. It is in the Elysium one shot kit um, under master preset. So whenever I want to open that up, I just come here, press file and then bring in my master preset. If you want a quick look at that. This is the EQ and this is the soft clipper. It's just a little bit different. So I'm just gonna bring that on. So tip number one, soft clipper on the master. You can do a soft clipper with a, a limit or two, different ways of doing it. Now this, this next point is a bit more about EQ. So sometimes you will hear your mix and you'll hear that it's a bit muddy, uh, especially in the low end. You'll be wondering, how do I fix that muddiness? Well, this is a great way to fix it. So come in here. This sounds muddy with the low end. You'll hear it real quick. And a muddy low end makes for a bad mix 100% of the time. And this is because we have the 808 in this lower frequency. And we also have this melody in this lower frequency. Something you can do is just open up your EQ and do a low cut. It doesn't need to be a crazy cut, just around 100 hertz. And this will already open up so much more space for the 808. And I'll even show you that real quick. So this is the 808 EQ and this is the melody EQ. And if you feel like it needs to be moved up more, you can move it up more. Do it to your own ear, but don't you don't need to cut out too much from the melody. Keep in mind, you still want the melody to come through and sound good while making just a little bit or enough room for the 808. So tip number three, and this is something I know a lot of people struggle with. Mixing is not a science, it's an art. Music is not science, it's art. You don't need to mix to a certain level. Your 808 doesn't have to be a certain specific level. At the end of the day, it, it just needs to fit somewhere in the mix. And, and a big reason for this is there's this thing called perceived loudness. So here I have two sounds. And one of these sounds just sounds a bit louder than the other sound. And they're hitting at the exact same decibel level. I'll show you right here in the master, you can see. And the first snare there, you can tell it sounds more present. It sounds louder. Um, and this is kind of why you wouldn't want to mix to a certain level, because at the end of the day, things can hit the same levels, but sound different loudnesses. Some of this has to do with the frequencies they're hitting, some of the compression, etc. Um, so you want to mix more with your ears and less with your eyes. So with that being said, the way you want your mix to come out more of is more of the 808 on top. You can have your kick a little under there or over there. That's personal preference. Your 808 usually will be on top. Then you'll have your clap or your snare whatever's really hitting on the three um below that you'll have like the rest of your drums hi-hats all that good stuff perks and your melody will sit around that same level so right now without everything being mixed kind of sounds like this and the first issue there is the melody sitting way too high up i'm just gonna bring everything into a melody bus and what a melody bus is, is it's just a place where I can mix everything together a bit better. So I'll show you real quick. My melody's a bit too loud for my personal preference. I'm going to bring that down about two and a half decibels. 
and that frees up more room for the 808 as well as the rest of the drums. So we're going to go through here. And this kind of brings us into to tip number four. Uh, it's just a personal trick that I like to do sometimes where I'll bring my sound all the way down and then I'll slowly bring it up as I'm listening to it just to kind of hear how it fits in the mix a bit better. Because you want sounds to be there, but you don't want them to be too overpowering. This is the 808, so it's going to be a bit different because it is going to be the most uh, prevalent thing within the mix. level everything else and again it really comes down to your ears um but keeping in mind that kind of 808 kick clap rest of your drums melody kind of idea and that's not from a standpoint of is it hitting at this decibel is it the highest decibel it's it's more of a standpoint of what's the loudest because mixing at the end of the day just comes down to some light eq and a little bit of leveling and anything else you do to your melody should really just be effects for for a purpose if you're doing something and you don't know why you're doing it you probably should either find out why you're doing it or stop doing it entirely so now i haven't added the kick in and that's going to come in with our next point however here's how the mix sounds all together and this is just with some leveling i didn't do anything too crazy and you'll be able to hear the the structure i was mentioning with the 808 being on top and everything else <laughs> So I mentioned I haven't done the kick yet, and this brings us into our next point really well. Because something you'll often want to do with your kick and 808, and this is to help your 808 and kick mesh a little bit better together in the mix. It's something I've talked about a few times, it's just EQ slotting. And what EQ slotting is, and I'm going to bring up both EQ, so we have the 808 EQ here, and we have the kick EQ here. What EQ slotting is, is you're taking a point of the kick and you're making room in 808 for that point specifically. So I'm noticing the kick's hitting really well around here. So I'm going to decrease the 808 at that same hertz level. Uh, you're going to do a narrow decrease, nothing too crazy. You need to go like two decibels. You don't need to do a whole lot. And, and by that, I don't mean you don't do this. Just keep it very light. I'm also noticing that my 808's a bit quiet. I'm gonna boost that up a bit, as well as boost my kick up a tiny bit. This is a little extra tip, but something I like to do personally with my 808s is I like to boost the low mids. Um, and a big reason behind this, uh, like I said earlier, if you're doing something, you need to know why you're doing it. Big reason for this is a lot of uh, a lot of phone speakers. You'll hear the 808, you'll hear it on laptop speakers, etc. Um, and and the more audible region is this low mid and up region on the phone. If you're listening to it on phone now or this video on phone now, you might have struggled to hear the 808. Um, and this just makes it a little bit more audible. You don't need to do a big boost. Just just a small light boost should be enough. Um, so again, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you. If you could leave a like, comment, and subscribe, like I said earlier, I would really appreciate that. That would help me out so much. So thank you. That's gonna be all. I'll let y'all hear the beat too, why not? Cause it is a fire beat that I made with the Elysium One Shot Kit. Here y'all go, peace. Mm -hmm.